What's that, Tig? Have you found something? There. That's all that's left. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, Lily! What's wrong? It wasn't enough for everyone anyway. <laughs> Koopa, buddy. Try to be patient. Okay. We need to head into the jungle and stock up on some supplies. The Snake Charmer. Look out for fruits and nuts, but don't wander off too far. Stay nearby so nobody gets lost. Agreed? Hey, look over there. I think I can see some kind of fruit. <gasps> it's a flower. Mila, don't get separated. All right, all right. I'll be right there. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Wow, there's another one. <gasps> and another. Leo? Tig! Yara! Hello? And what now? I've gotten lost. Hmm. Why didn't I just listen to Tig and his rule? Hey, but what's that? Where's that sound coming from? Told you so. He just wanted to take a quick break. Well, I am your captain, and I order you to continue flying, and I mean right now. Immediately. Fine, whatever. We'll manage without you, feather brain. Yeah. Uh, but how exactly will we fly? Just be quiet. Do you hear that? Music. Interesting, interesting. He's making the snake dance around. No, it's all the flute. That's what has control over the snake. And very soon, that flute will be ours. Was that you playing that beautiful music just now? Yes, I was playing the flute. I'm Mungo. Who are you? I've not seen you in the jungle before. My name's Mila. I'm traveling around with my group of friends. But we ran out of supplies, so we stopped to gather some more. And I, I, I got lost. And also, I am really, really, really starving. Hey, don't cry. Here, why don't you try these nuts? Mmm, how tasty. It's a cashew nut. Oh. There are loads of them here. Those are my friends. They're looking for me. Well, go to them then. And take some nuts with you. I'll gather some more for you and bring them. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mungo. <laughs> Leo, Tig, I'm here. I'm coming. Hmm. Move it quickly, <gasps> Melky. Get the magic flute and let's get out of here. Hey. Give it to me! I'll take that! No, me! No, I'm gonna hold it! No, me! Enough! Give it to me! Hey! I'll... I'll have you know that only a real snake charmer is capable of playing the magic flute. And that's me. <laughs> and I have an amazing plan! We're going to sneak onto Spots and Stripes' his flying ship, and with the help of this magic flute, we'll summon a snake! <laughs> then they'll see it, get frightened, and run away screaming! Which means that we'll get the ship for ourselves! <laughs> huh? Whoa, tasty. Well, too bad there aren't any more. But my new friend promised to bring us some more soon. Mila, so tell us, who's your new friend? Oops! I, I, I forgot to ask him what kind of animal he is. <laughs> the time has come for the snake charmer to magically call the snake. Watch and learn, my friends. No, oh, can I do it? I know how to. All right, give me that. This is how a real snake charmer should play the magical flute. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Let a master show you how it's done. Because the snake is already uh, here! Look over there! Uh, 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 Someone's shouting! It 
Sounds like it's near the ship. We should check it out. You stay here. I'll see what happened. There's no one here. Oh, I wonder what this is. Huh. It looks like some sort of flute. But how did it get here? <coughs> snake, snake. Snake on the ship! Oh, my goodness! We have to get it off our ship. Go away, shoo! Go away! This is our flying ship. I think the snake is telling us that it wants us to leave. Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> so what do we do now? She wasn't even scared of our stick. I don't know. Maybe we could find a bigger stick. Hey, you guys. I just remembered something. Far to the south, in India, there lived a cobra who was queen of the snakes. But it wasn't enough for her to rule over just the snakes. The queen cobra wanted to command the entire jungle. She ordered all of her snakes to slither into every burrow and every nest. And if the animals and birds refused to bow down to her, she would drive them out of the jungle. All the birds and beasts gathered for a meeting. Who would speak up against the snake? But nobody dared. There was only one beast who was brave enough, the mongoose. The courageous mongoose went to the queen cobra and challenged her to a battle. She readily agreed that if mongoose was victorious, that the snakes would go back to where they came from. For three days and three nights, Mongoose and Cobra fought. The snake tried her best to strike down the Mongoose, but he was so crafty and swift that she never managed to bite him even once. The Cobra grew tired and gave up. And so she retreated with her army of serpents back to the mountain passes and swamps. The birds could return back to their nests and the animals to their burrows. And ever since then, the mongoose has been considered the bravest animal in the jungle. Oh, wow. Well, if only that mongoose was here with us, he would have shown that bully of a snake. That's true, but how would we find him? The jungle is so big. Mila, I thought I'd never find you. Here are the nuts. I brought them as promised. Hurry! It's Mongo! He's the one I told you about. Mongo! You live here, so maybe you know where we can find a mongoose. Why do you need one? Don't you know I'm a mongoose? Wait, you're a mongoose? Well, of course. I'm a mongoose. Who else would I be? <laughs> and so am I, mongoose. <laughs> do you even know what a mongoose is? <gasps> He's the defeater of snakes. And you? <laughs> you're no bigger than little Mila. We'll just have to drive the snake from the ship all by ourselves. Snake? Could you show me what kind of snake you have there? Oh, it's my friend Nagi. What exactly is a Nagi? Nagi's a cobra. We're best friends. She always appears when I play my flute. She's not evil at all. She just got angry because you threatened her with a stick. Now she needs to be calmed down. But how do you calm her down? Well, for that, I will need my snake charming flute. Will that do? There's one over there. Huh, that's my flute. How did it end up over here? All right, now pick up your sticks and repeat after me. Are we in agreement, Featherbrain? Huh? We'll give you the biggest fish, and in exchange, you take us on further. It's <laughs> a really big one! Give me a hand, Melky! Pull! What? Pull uh. harder! <laughs> well, your 
truly a hero. The coolest snake charmer there ever was. She's so... scary. But you're not even frightened. Those who seem scary might be more scared of you than you are of them. Bye, bye. Hello. Hello there. Uh, oh, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Silly. But I'm not a stranger. You see, we've already met. We're very close. Mama! Where's your mommy? I would simply love to have you for lunch. I don't want any lunch. All I want is my mama. Aren't you the sweetest thing? How about I take you out a little further? That way, no one will hear you and your whining. Bright white. Don't worry. Kuba soon will fly away from here. And it will be much warmer. Someone help me! Over there! Someone seems to be in danger! Aren't you getting sick of yelling? Don't you realize no one can hear you scream out here? Oh, but he's so small and bright white. He desperately needs our help. <sighs> I'm tired. Time to eat something. Mama! Oh, no, no, oh. How dare you! Give me back my lunch! Hey, you kids! You up there! I'm going to teach you a lesson. Whoa. Let's land! You're safe here! Hey, you up there! Bring me back my lunch! Hi, little buddy. I'm Leo. Tell us, what's your name? At back. And I want to go home <laughs> to my mama. Little guy, where do you live? I don't know. I ended up getting lost. <laughs> don't cry. We'll find your home for you. And your mama. And your mama. <laughs> Thank you. Look down there. He looks exactly like Abak, but he's black and he's barking. <laughs> barking? He's looking for Abak, Tig. Let's go. <sighs> hey there. Were you looking for our little seal friend? Looking? I need some help. Can't you see? <sighs> I'm stuck here. Then we'll help you get out of there, buddy. One, two, pull it! <laughs> Careful! Don't tear my snout off! I'm really proud of it! Don't worry! You won't lose your snout! Maybe if we pull harder, we can... Ow, 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 ow! No! Oh, whoa, ow! <sighs> Thank you! Now we can introduce ourselves. My name is Stromai. I'm an elephant seal. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Leo the Leopard. These are my friends, Tig, Martik, Kuba, Yara, Mila, and Lily. And we recently ran into another elephant seal. His name is Apak. He's just lost and looking for his mother. He's not an elephant seal. He doesn't even have a snout. But I do. Do you see my snout? Only elephant seals have snouts like these ones. And I'm as black as the night. But Abak is bright white. Elephant seal babies are always black. But white babies are sea calves. Uh, 
So that means a pack's a sea calf? Hmm. He's still white right now. Huh? But when he grows up, then he'll become a hard seal. It's all so complicated, but you look so much alike. <laughs> we look alike, but not that much. My mom once told me a story that long, long ago, some animals got tired of living on land and they decided to live in the ocean. Their legs and arms transformed and they became flippers. Those who began to make ice holes were then known as hard seals. And those who learned to dive much deeper and farther than the others suddenly grew long snouts. They were known as elephant seals. And the meanest, smartest ones of all were covered in spots and grew very sharp teeth and hunted other seals. They were known as sea leopards. I know where the seal rookery is. I can take you all there on the iceberg. Hey, you kids! Bring me back my lunch! How dare you! Oh, I'm not floating on that iceberg. We'll go on land then. Do you see that river? Follow it upwards to the source. Then you turn left, and finally you'll see the seal rookery. Aren't you coming along with us? No. Sorry, but I'm much too clumsy on land. Okay. Then Tig and I will take Apac. And you guys can guard the ship. But remember, do not go through the waterfall. There are sea leopards in there. I think we got lost somewhere. We're going and going, but it looks like we haven't found the source yet. <gasps> Over there! I bet she can help us. Hi there, Auntie Hardseal. Well, hello there, children. I'm Leo, and this is Tig, and that's Apac. And I'm Otney. Are you two out here all by yourself? Yeah, we're helping our friend Apac get back home to the rookery. Can you please tell us the best way to get there? Apac, oh, they sent me out to look for you. The whole rookery is worried. However, your parents aren't there right now. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Apac's parents are waiting and so am I. Uh, are you a hard seal? You don't really look like my mama or papa. That's why my name is Motney. In our language, it means not quite like the others. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. But why do you have so many spots? <gasps> I got dirty when I was looking for you. But once we get to the rookery, I'll wash it off. And why do you have such... Such great big flippers, huh? Ah, my flippers? Well, you will have them too when you grow up. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> That's the waterfall, huh? That's a dangerous place. <laughs> Why did you bring us over here? <laughs> hey! Why do you have such great big teeth? Uh, uh, my teeth? What, what big teeth? No. <laughs> I think that this hard seal isn't really a hard seal. You're right. And I have great big teeth because they're all the better to eat you with, you silly children. <laughs> She's really a sea leopard. Run away! Save yourselves! <laughs> Hurry! This way! But it's dark and scary! Oh, come.
come now. I've delivered your little white ball of fluff, huh? Safe yeah. and sound. Uh, uh. Mama, I miss you both so much. Epic, don't crawl so far away next time. <laughs> I won't. Thank you so much. We could have lost our little son without you. Mama, Papa, could we take them back to their ship? Of course we can, son. And we'll take the safest way back. I promise that when I grow up and I'm a big and strong heart seal, that I'll swim to the taiga to visit you. A pack! <laughs> we'll be waiting! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tasman, why are you looking at us like that right now? Mm, no reason. I'm just thinking about who I'm going to eat first. <laughs> what do you mean, eat first? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You should have seen yourselves. You were so petrified. <laughs> so, does that mean that you're not going to eat us? Who needs a bag of bones like you? Hey, look, land ho! Huh? The Paints of Africa. Interesting. What exactly is this place? That's why we're doing reconnaissance, Tig, to figure that out. I was just wondering. We always end up running into some really strange looking locals. Animals that have beaks uh, uh, and birds. Some who fly and some who don't. So I wonder who we'll run into here. Maybe uh, some kind of five-winged duck-billed creature. You're a duck-billed creature, Tig. Hey, do you see these normal-looking hoof prints? It must be some kind of deer. Let's go and meet them. Enough fooling around. Go out there and find us something to eat. Okay, fine, but what are you gonna do? I guess I'll keep an eye on Philin. Ooh. Uh, and keep your eyes peeled. Figure out where stripes and spots have landed. A deer, you said. Ha, look there, spots just like yours. Maybe he's a strange leopard. Oh, <laughs> we have guests, Zako. Uh, we have guests, man. I am pleased to meet you. I am Jiro. And I'm not a leopard, I'm a giraffe. Man. This here is Zako, <laughs> and he's a pet. We have guests, man. Nice to meet you. I'm Leo, and this is Tig and Kuba. What are you drawing up on that wall over there? That's such a big picture. We're not drawing, we're writing. You could say we're artists. We're artists. We're artists. We're writing. Zako. We're writing, 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 this writing, writing. This is called Sunrise in Africa. Ah, yes. Writing, writing, <laughs> writing, writing. It isn't finished just yet. I hope that we're going to have enough paint in order to finish it. To finish it. Enough paint. Magical paint. Magical paint. Magical uh, paint. Zako uh, is asking. If you are familiar uh -huh. with the legend uh -huh. of the magical paint. Mm. We know a lot of legends, but that one is new to us. Oh, well then, come and sit down with us. Zako uh -huh. and I were about to take a break anyway. And uh, for Zako! <gasps> Did you draw all those as well? We write, we write, we I write! Mean, did you write that? No, no. These are ancient drawings. Allow me to tell you all about the legend. A long time ago, when Africa was still quite young, a wildfire spread from coast to coast and turned this colorful land into a gray and scorched wasteland. It was a sad, sad time. Everything everywhere became bleak, all shades of gray. And then the spirit of the savanna gathered up the last of its strength and created a most magical paint. The animals painted our Africa once again, and nature came back to life. And that is the legend of the magical paint.
So if these paints bring nature to life, if we draw ourselves some food, then we'll be able to feast to our heart's content. Hey, but then why didn't the painting come to life? Listen, do you have fur in your ears? The giraffe even said that his painting isn't even finished yet. Come on, before somebody sees us. Before someone sees, before someone sees. Milky, but why are you repeating what I just said? Did you hit your head or something, man? That wasn't me. Brad, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. <laughs> Not me. Oh, that means it's probably the magical paint talking to us. Magical paint talking, magical paint talking, talking. What? But that can't, can't be. Can't be, can't be. Hey, Spike. Let's get out of here while we're still in one still piece. In one piece. But I think while I might have heard piece. that voice somewhere today already. I recognize we're it. We're right and right oh. and right and Aha. right. So burr, someone burr, was trying burr, to scare burr, us. Burr, 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 burr. Gotcha, chatterbox. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Milky, get the paints. <laughs> gotcha, chatterbox. What happened, Zako? Get the paint, Milky. Get the paint. Milky, Milky. The mountains. <laughs> Those creatures took off with all of our paint. Took off with our paint, the magical paint. Red, red. We'll get your paint back for you. Red, hey, come red. back. You only think of yourselves. Come on, give back the paint. I'm telling you. <laughs> You'll have to catch us first. Right, get back here. They're catching up to us. They're, they're gonna get us. <laughs> <laughs> Away. And now the apple is gonna come to life. <laughs> and then Tasman will be able to eat it. You first. <laughs> Tasman doesn't want to break a tooth. One, two, three. Create the apple for me. It's nothing but regular paint. But, but it can't be. This, this is magical paint. Uh, I don't understand what happened. Spike. Maybe we need to say some magic words or something? Abracadabra! Abracadabra! What is wrong with you, Milky? <laughs> you really are nuts! Uh, the legend mentioned the spirit of the savannah. Maybe we gotta ask it for help. What do we do now, Leo? Well, we have to bring back the magic paint. Uh-huh. But where do we even look for it? Good job, Kuba. You found some tracks. Oh, spirit of savannah, please. Bring this apple to life for us so that we may snack upon it. Oh, that must be it. The spirit of the savannah. Thank you for coming to us. Oh. Hey, the spirit looks just like cool by, don't you think? Give us back the magical paint right now. Uh, we need it for ourselves. After all, we just painted an apple, as you can clearly see. Tasman, but what if it's a... However, Tasman will gladly exchange these very magical paints for any supplies you may have to offer. I'll exchange you, you thief! Give us that paint! I'll only exchange them for food! <laughs> Let's get out of here! <laughs> you... You won't be able to finish the painting. We tried, but we couldn't save the magical paints. The magical paints? But those paints weren't the magical paints. Magical paints! Wait, they weren't? Weren't magical paints! You mean you really thought that they were the magical paints from the legend? You mean they weren't? But of course not. That's nothing but a fairy tale. Fairy tale! Although it is true that we can finish the painting now, we'll have to find a solution soon. <laughs> we can make new paints. In fact, you can help us. It's quite easy. 
All we need is just a little bit of imagination and a touch of inspiration and the most magical colors of Africa. Feathers, you drank two days ago. Ooh, ooh, three. All right, all right. There's a lake ahead. Let's land there. The fastest runner. Drink. Ooh, drink. Ooh, ooh, Shoo, ooh, that's my lake. If you want to drink, first you have to beat me in a race. Then you can have some water. Okay. We'll go find another lake. Just go ahead and try. The next lake is very far away. Ooh. It'll take you two Ooh, listen, days. Uh, the filling isn't gonna last that long. <sighs> hey, you, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> How far do we have to run? It's not that far, just down to that rock. All right, but we'll need to stretch a bit first. Follow me. Great, I'll do the same. Yeah, I need to stretch as well. One, uh, two, Three and four. One, two, three and four. Uh, Tasman? Uh, how are we going to be him? We're going to set a trap. And you, Featherhead, I want you to stay there. Keep watch for us. Ooh. Stop there! The Asayara Lake is all mine. If you want to drink, then you're gonna have to race me, and you're gonna have to win. <laughs> but what kind of weird rule is that? It's probably just what they do here. So if you beat me, <laughs> you can have some water. Okay, fine. Leo, you go. No one can beat you. Let me guess. You need to stretch first as well? Hey, so I huh. heard that you're all planning to race the cheetah? Did I hear correctly? Yeah, we're just stretching a little first. Well, you know, many a creature has tried to beat him before, but no one has succeeded. Not even me. Ha, <laughs> but you're a turtle. The cheetah is like Leo and me. We're fast cats. Yes, <gasps> leopards ah! are quite fast, but cheetahs are faster. <gasps> faster than Leo? Like a bolt of lightning. Listen to the legend and learn for yourself. Long ago in Africa, there was a boastful cheetah. He loved saying that he could run faster than any other creature. And so one day he invited everyone to race him and he proceeded to beat them all. But the hippo happened to notice that the cheetah runs fast, but gets tired quite quickly. And so the hippo came up with an idea. He would challenge the cheetah to run at dawn, all the way down to the large rock. But the hippo had a trick up his sleeve. He went and asked the elephant to take the rock further down to the river. And then, when the race began, the cheetah only ran as far as to where the rock had been before it was moved. The hippo made it all the way down to the rock and taught the cheetah a lesson about bragging. <gasps> so that means that we can beat the cheetah 
If we run farther than he's used to? <laughs> All right. Uh, one, two, three, stretch. <laughs> well then, are you ready to race now? Listen up, Cheetah. They say that no one in Africa is faster than you. Of course not. What else do you expect? Then how about if we don't just have a simple race? Let's have a championship. A championship? I like that idea. Woohoo! What do we do? Ha! Huh. We run past the rock all the way to the baobab tree. Then whoever wins is the owner of the whole lake. Hmm. Owner of the whole lake? Well... What's the matter, Cheetah? Are you scared? Okay, fine. Yeah. I'll run in the championship race. However, I get to pick who will race me. I think I'll pick him. You picked Kuba? Uh-huh. We're running to the faraway Baobab tree. Whoever beats Cheetah will be the owner of the whole lake. No. But we know that the traps aren't set up over there. Hey, Melky, go and race with them. Spike and I will set up some new traps. And make sure you get there first, you got it? Ah! Hey, Melky, are you gonna run in the race as well? <laughs> go ahead and snicker, uh-huh. Soon that whole lake will be ours. Look at them all. A chubby little boar, <laughs> a baby Martin. Oh, I know. How about if we throw a turtle in as well? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I still haven't finished running the last race. Hey, hey, hey! Drink. No drinking. drinking. <laughs> no one drinks from my lake. You hear me? I'm gonna win. Get lost. On your marks, and get set, go! Woohoo! Yeah, I'm the fastest! Yeah! Woohoo! I'm gonna beat my own record! Ha <laughs> <sighs> Oh, finally, the last one's set up. <laughs> They're going to run right through our first trap. Uh, but how is Milky gonna know where the new traps are? <sighs> What's wrong with me? Come on, Cheetah, you're the fastest! <sighs> I'm getting so tired! <laughs> So tired. <sighs> oh no! No way Cheetah is gonna lose to some chubby boar! <laughs> From now on, the Asai Ara Lake is all yours. The whole lake. <laughs> Kuba, Kuba. What? Kuba says that he'll give us all the lake. It now belongs to everyone. <laughs> water. Thirsty. I need water. Water. What's the matter with you? No one laughed. 
Don't forget one must always treat others how one wishes to be treated oneself. I officially declare that the Asai Ara Lake is open. Ooh, uh, drink. <sighs> I'm sorry, everyone. Shame on you. Shame on you for being so greedy. I promise that I won't be greedy anymore. And I won't brag. <laughs> Kuba. Hey, look. I'm really sorry that I laughed at you. You really are strong and such a good runner. Kuba says he forgives you. He's a bore. See you later. Come visit again soon. The Asai Ara Lake is always full of water for our friends. <laughs> and you can come run with me. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> you help me, someone. <laughs> Get me down. <laughs> Look, I finally found the little bugger. Can then go. Get fight? him down. Get me down from here. Milky, what are you whining for? Uh, oh. Uh, buddy. Oh, you I get can't it down, take right? it. You fell into your own trap. Ah! No. <laughs> you got trapped in your own trap as well. Now just be quiet. <laughs> I'll get you when I get down. Helen. <laughs> Helen. Come here, you featherhead. Hurry up and save Ooh. us. Helen. <laughs> 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 a game for a rhinoceros. Look at him sleeping. You can't wake him up. It's your own fault. What did you expect, Tasman? You kept the poor owl flying all night long. It appears to me that somebody here is dissatisfied with something. No, no, no one here is dissatisfied with anything. I was merely uh, uh, sharing my opinion. Well, you should keep your opinions to yourself. Or otherwise. Uh, but come on, Tazzy, old pal. We're good friends now, I mean, aren't we? Why is this small fry bothering me like this? Get away! Shoo! Uh, Tasman, uh, uh, I think maybe the birdie just wants to make friends with you. Make uh. friends with me? I don't need anybody uh. trying to make friends with me, okay? Friendship equals weakness! Marty! Can you check the ropes? Aye, aye, Captain. Eee, eee. Hey, Koopa Buddy, you gotta wake up now. It's time to fly away. <laughs> Listen to how much fun they're having. Maybe they're having some sort of party or something like that. <laughs> they're having so much fun. We should go and join in. Tig, but it's time for us to fly off now. Yeah, but all we do is fly these days, Leo. I've already forgotten how we used to play and have fun. Yeah, I have to admit, I would also like to play something. Okay then, let's go and have some fun. <laughs> hey there, you guys. Can we join in on your game? Sure, no problem. The more the barrier. <laughs> 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 Aha! Uh -huh. Would you look at that? It seems spots and stripes are here. Hey! You're playing a fun game! Well, well, well... Uh, 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 come on! Come on! Let's go and play with them, huh? Oh, please! You wanna play? Sure, we can play. Hide and seek. 
We can focus on the hiding part. <laughs> psst, psst. Listen to my plan. We're going to kidnap the monkey and steal the ship for ourselves. That's a great <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we want the monkey? <sighs> the monkey is the one who can show us where to find the treasure. Got it? Oh, I get it now. I get it. Then let's get going. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I join in the game? Well, okay. Uh, so what's your name, huh? Um, uh, Tonda. Well, okay, Tonda. Come play. The more the merrier. No, no, no. But not with us. You can't play with us. Hey, where are you going? What about the game? Hmm, strange. Anyway, want to play catch? <laughs> Come on! No, no, no! Hide and seek will be better. I really miss the days when we used to play hide and seek. Oh, yeah? Well, I call dibs. Go hide, I get to seek first. One, two, three. Tanya? But what are you doing? I'm hiding. <laughs> You're what? But you're way wider than the tree. If you hide there, Leo would find you straight away. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Tonda, what are you doing? He's gonna spot you from a thousand feet away. Uh, uh, Nine, uh, ten. Uh, Ready uh, or not, uh, here I come. Uh, 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 uh. It seems you're a little big for the hiding part of hide and seek, huh, Tonda? Uh, 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 I'm really sorry. Well, why don't we just play a different game then? Good idea, Yara. As Mappa always says, wherever there are friends, a game can always be found. We're in one piece. Uh, I've done it again. I always ruin everything. Tonda, <laughs> don't cry. First the giraffes ran away. <laughs> and now you guys want to leave. This always happens to me. I'm just too big for anything. Well, it's not so much that you're too big. It's just uh, you're too large. If only, oh, if only rhinos were still small like they used to be. <laughs> if only things were like before. Like before uh, how? What's wrong? Don't you know about the legend? We heard about the legend when our daddy told us about it. A long, long time ago, the savanna was home to the very first little rhinoceros. And he was teeny tiny, almost as small as a bunny rabbit. He went to the spirit of the savanna, and he asked for a special favor. He wanted to grow. He asked to be bigger and even bigger still. And the rhino got so big that he outgrew all of his enemies. He was proud to be so big, but he also outgrew all of his friends. He was worried that he might crush somebody's paw or maybe stand on their tail by accident. And so the rhino became sad. Nobody wanted to play games with him anymore. Then one day, the rhino met a little bird who was so lonely. His name was Oxpecker. The bird wasn't afraid, so he didn't try to fly away. Quite the opposite. The little bird was able to see that the huge rhino was a delicate soul who was sensitive and had a kind heart and wasn't frightening at all. And so the little bird and the rhino became friends and played together. Ever since then, 
The little oxpecker birds have been inseparable from the enormous rhinos. That's awesome! <laughs> Tom, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Not even the little birds oh, hey, will my... be friends with me. <laughs> Tonda, but don't leave! <laughs> Let me go! Be quiet! Let go of go me! Go away! That small boy is following us! Happens to be our captive. Uh, just hand over the monkey, would you? Just try and take her, little friend. Uh, but she's really big, Tasman. You can do what you want, but I'm out of here. Uh, uh, that makes two of us. Yeah, she's a little too big. Uh, uh, oh. Lily, uh, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, Tonda and the little bird saved me. Uh. You drove away all of those annoying little flies. Thank you so much. What's that? You said you want to play a game with me? Really? <laughs> it looks like our friend Tonda <laughs> has someone to play games with. <laughs> Nice that the cute little bird has finally found her very own rhino. <laughs> and Tonda has finally found herself a good friend. <laughs> We've already flown past these acacias. Don't you think that we might be lost? Oh, this is really bad. Our water supply is running low. <gasps> hey guys, look! We haven't seen those black cacti yet. That means we haven't flown through here. Oh, wow. Live moving cacti. They don't look like cacti. They look more like hedgehogs. Well then, we have to land and ask them the way. Each according to their ability. <laughs> so, how does it look on me? Ah, it fits you like a glove. Go on then, give us a little twirl. <gasps> oh my, prickle my needles. <gasps> it's a giant wooden bird! Oh my! Ah! Someone protect me! Uh. Uh, hello, my name is Leo. And this is Tig, Martik, Lily, Mila, Yara, and Kuba. <laughs> We've flown to you from the forest, from the north. What are you? Are you African hedgehogs? What? We're not any kind of hedgehog at all. We are porcupines. Shade, Jemima, and Needle. And thanks to the wind whipped up by your big wooden bird, we ended up having to interrupt our, our, our way back home, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to disturb you. We're searching for Lily's home. Until then, the ship is our home. Then maybe you could invite us on board, you know, to make it up to us. I'm so interested to see what you have inside. <laughs> of course, great idea. Come on in. This is the rudder. We steer it where we want to go. Wow. This is the anchor. We throw it down when we land somewhere. Ah. No, uh huh. It's a hoy. Here's the oar. Paddle if you want to go faster. Wow, we everything on the ship is so big. And this is where we put our supplies. Ah. We only have a couple apples left. How interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, as a thank you for your hospitality, we're going to put on a little performance for you all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. <laughs> May I borrow some of these apples for the um the performance. The apples? But of course. 
I love watching performances. Hello. Oh boy, this is so amazing. <laughs> yeah, again, again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Hello. <laughs> Everyone, and that concludes our show. <laughs> hey, what about the route? We didn't ask the way. <gasps> hey, Jemima, you were magnificent as always. You were like a boa constrictor with a rabbit when you enchanted those furry fools. <laughs> Jemima! Hey, Jemima! Shade! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You haven't happened to see some porcupines, have you? They're kind of dark colored and spiky. Uh, yeah, they were just here. They're such great entertainers. They did such a good job juggling all those apples. What do you mean they're great entertainers? They're just a bunch of thieves. They ran off with my crown. Your crown? But we thought it was their crown. No, it belongs to my dad. My daddy is a lion. He's the king of the beasts. That's his crown. You see, I took it so I could play with it without asking. Yeah, I'm the king of the beasts. Oh, what a cool crown you're wearing. You think I can spin it? Absolutely not. This crown is royal property. Oh, well, spin it yourself then. Me? But I don't know how to. <laughs> it's really easy. Heads up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> We'll teach you how oh. to do it. <laughs> Hooray! Now I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, indeed you are. <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm doing it! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, loser! <laughs> Those porcupines are con artists. What am I going to tell my dad now? Hmm, these apples are going to be so tasty. How is it? Hmm. It's apple-y. Ah, yeah, apple-y. By the way, I also managed to grab something else that looked quite interesting. They stole... They stole the only apples we had! The anchor! They took the anchor, too! To the ship at once! Or else it'll fly away without an anchor! And me? But what about me? Oh, I'm sorry, your future highness. Come on, jump! I'm not going back home until I get that crown! So, are you gonna tell us why we're lugging this heavy thing? This thing is much too heavy to take along, and it's way too gigantic, and even worse, completely inedible! Well, prick my needles, you two. Why don't you tell me why we took the lion's crown, huh? Jemima, why are you wearing that crown, huh? For the same reason that you took the anchor. Just because! So I could have it! But you guys, next time we steal something, let's make sure that it's useful, huh? Or at least something that's more edible. Look up there! Hurry, let's hide this thing and run away! They're never gonna catch us! <laughs> Down there! It's my crown! <laughs> Look how shiny it is! But never mind, we'll be sure to catch them! To the right! No, wait! To the left! Yeah. Wait, no! Straight ahead! Heads up, Cam! Take your up on the arc if you want them so bad! Ow! Uh, oh, yeah? Well, I'll show you! Hold on! I've got an idea! Yeah, they're leaving! No, wait, they're up to something! Run away, quick!
the spines through their hearts won't disappear. What? Do you actually believe them? Well, I believe that there's still some good in them. They're just a little confused. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody's ever treated us so kindly before. Nobody loves us. Yeah, just because we have big spines. No, not because of your spines, but because you guys steal things. Uh, but what can we do? We don't know how to do anything else. That can't be true. Listen to this story about a nightingale. Once, a nightingale heard that every bird has its own talent. He thought, what kind of talent do I have? He didn't know how to drink while flying like a swift hawk. He couldn't hammer out a hole like a woodpecker. He couldn't see in the dark like an owl. <sighs> the nightingale became sad, sat on a branch, and began to sing his song. He sang so well that all the birds of the forest flocked to him and listened to the nightingale until dawn, holding their breath. Then the nightingale realized that he had been looking in the wrong place for his calling and his talent had always been there without him noticing. Just like you. Do you really not see who you are? You guys are all the real artists. <gasps> you know, she's right. I really love when we do our performances. Bush Babies. Everybody ready? Then let's go! Yara, aren't you coming with us? Tig, did you forget? I'm the sailor on duty. Today, I'm guarding the ship. And while I'm at it, I'll do some cleaning. We're just going to gather some food and water, and then we'll be right back. Yara, should I stay back here with you? Don't worry about it, Lily. I'll manage this broom somehow. Hmm? Hmm. Oh. Huh? Hmm. I really miss being back home. So beautiful, so big and magical. There's forests and oceans, the deserts and sands. I dream of cedar trees, the rivers sparkling. Beloved land, my own. How I want to go home, go home. We've seen so many countries across the world. Lily is our captain through all the storms. No wind or no heat could be an obstacle. To make their way home. The world's so beautiful, so big and magical. There's forests and oceans, the deserts and sands. I dream of cedar trees, the rivers sparkling. Beloved land, my own. How I want to go home, go home. Shh. 
we don't somehow manage to sniff out where Spots and Stripes are going to head off to next, then Tasman is going to skin us alive. But why do we need to know that, Spike? So we can overtake them and then get our hands on the treasure before they do. Hmm? Ha! Hmm. Nah. Spots and Stripes are nowhere around here. Let's go and check somewhere else. Oh, look at that, Spike. What is she holding? Hmm. It's good that we have you, magical guiding arrow. You'll point us in the right direction for sure. Mwah. But I don't get it. Where does it show the way to? And where are they flying to? It must be to the treasure. But are you quite certain? Yeah, a hundred percent! No! A thousand percent! Well then, if we get our paws on that magical arrow, we'll no longer have to keep secretly following them. So I guess that means that we should go steal it from Slow them. down! By now, Spots and Stripes must have already returned. We can give them a pow pow! I huh? feel an idea is starting to form. There's a new moon tonight, which means that it'll be so dark that they won't see a thing. It'll be easy. We'll steal the arrow from under their noses, right? <laughs> now tell me, where do they keep it? No, don't tell me. Tell Philin. He sees better than anybody in the dark. I'm sending him on the job. There. Now we're all set to take off. But there's no moon out. There's no way that we could fly in this kind of darkness. Ugh, what a shame. But oh well. We can get some sleep and take off at dawn. You guys sleep. I can keep watch. I'm on duty after all. Should I join you, Yara? It's really dark out right now. What is this? You think because I'm small that I'm afraid of the dark? <sighs> but what if you fall asleep? But I won't. I said I can handle it. And handle it I will. Who's there? Stop! Hey! Get that back! Bad birdie. Oh, you bad birdie. How could you possibly go and lose the magical arrow? We have to find it, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> With this darkness in the forest, that's nah, impossible. That's exactly why we have the owl, Philin. <laughs> Where are you, magical guiding arrow? Allow me to introduce myself, Taongo of the Great Bush Babies. And this is my little pet, Luciolo Africano, a very rare breed of firefly. You won't find another one in the forest, the son of African and Luciola, the greatest couple of lightning bug champions and the grandson of the synchronized blinking masters, the beautiful stop, Makia. Stop, stop, and... stop. That's all extremely interesting. However, I'm currently searching oh, for something. In that case, milady, perhaps I could be of service. I don't need help. Um, uh, but I can't see anything. There she is, moving that tree! Hurry, grab her! <laughs> grab her, quick, there she is! Oh! Villain, fly faster! Come on, get her! Get her! 
We can't let her get away! If you will allow me to, I'd be happy to help. I'll deal with the Martins myself somehow. <sighs> after her! There she is! Like yeah, after yeah, Bill! Yeah, and... Oh, let go of me! Oh, you stupid dreamer! As my most noble grandmother always used to say, there is no shame in accepting help from someone who truly wishes to offer their help. All set. Thanks very much. I am Yara. Where did they disappear to? On the left. There's a hole. Lift your legs. There are roots. Stop! There are thorns! But how do you see in the dark, Taongo? Ah, how do you do it? Our ancient family is very famous for its night vision. There she is! Ah! After them! <laughs> Fly faster! We're right on their tails! We'll get them now! <laughs> They're gaining on us! What's he doing? Oh, it looks like he's calling his relatives for help! We hey, should run! Hey, watch out! No! Ah! Ah! Ship. Oh, it looks like everyone's asleep. <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet such an independent and courageous young lady who happens to be equally as beautiful. If it wasn't for your help, this courageous young lady would have fallen into greater trouble. Thank you. Is that you? <sighs> I had a weird dream that the magical guiding arrow had been stolen. Well, it was nothing but a bad dream. Hey, it's light already. Let's get going. Tasman, please, buddy, take us along with you. Look what we've collected just for you. Uh, take a look at what we collected. I've got no use at all for you two. You couldn't catch a lynx and some googly-eyed critter. You two are staying right here. Fill in! Let's get flying! Ah, oh, it's so good to be alone again. <laughs> Don't worry, Melky. You know why Tasman was so angry? It's because he didn't have any sweet fruit to snack on. But once he fills up his belly, he'll get kinder. And then we can prove to him that we're really useful. That is, if we don't fall first. Pango the Magnificent. Okay, everyone, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, don't mind if I do then. Oh, 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 oh. Well, well. There goes our lunch. Uh, but I, but I didn't mean to do that. It's okay, we'll land. We need to gather up more supplies for the journey anyway. Yara, where are you going? I'll be right back. I'm just going to look for the basket. Huh. <gasps> hey, what? get out of here. Shoot! Scram! Ah! They're fighters! They're fighters! Bang down the hatches! All hands on deck! They're trying to come aboard! Don't let them 
Take that, you monsters! Just go away! But why don't you just take off? Yara, these fighters have already damaged the wing! Going, my friend. Well, my my friends need help. It's the biters. <sighs> if they need someone who's good at chasing, then I'm your cheetah. Chasing and racing? An army of biting little nibblers is attacking our ship right now. An army of little nibblers? Do they have six legs and not at wood? Oh, that must be termites. Uh, oh, I'm really sorry, but I I, I can't help you. This requires someone with a much thicker hide than mine. <gasps> Tonda! Oh, Yara, hey there. How do you like my newest pretty little shell? I found it over in the swamp. Tonda, boy, am I glad that I ran into you. I really need your help. Come on, let's go. Let's go, quickly! But where are we going? Uh, oh, to play? Mm, we're not playing a game right now, Tonda! We need to chase away some termites! Some termites? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but they're going to pull me apart into a hundred tiny rhinoceros pieces. But you have thicker skin than anyone! But skin isn't enough. Something much stronger is needed here. <gasps> yeah! I know who can help you out. Pango the Magnificent! Once a long time ago, a huge army of termites attacked our Africa. Thousands upon thousands of them came. Nobody was able to contain the invasion. Then out of nowhere, a great warrior appeared who went by the name of Pango. His armor of magnificently tough scales sparkled in the sunshine. There was no limit to the warrior's courage. Pango fearlessly rushed straight at the termites and fought them off for three days and three nights. The enemies attacked, but broke their jaws when they bit his armor, so they retreated in fear. And our brave hero was then known as Pango the Magnificent in honor of his magnificent splendor and bravery in the great battle. That's who can help you. Pango the Magnificent? And where can I find this Pango? There. By the big baobab. Pango! Pango the Magnificent, are you there? Excuse me, have you seen Pango the Magnificent around here? There are some termites that are attacking. Termites? I've seen him. He's probably gone to the lake. Of course, definitely go to the lake. Armor? Like in the legend? Hmm. And might you be Pango? Me? <laughs> me? Come on now. What nonsense. But look at this. Strong armor and shiny scales. It's definitely you. Wait, please come back! We really need your help! My friends are in great danger! It's the termites! They've got them surrounded! Sorry, no can do! I have important business to attend to! What business? You are just sitting there in a hole! Well, I'm... <coughs> not feeling well! What do you mean? But you were fine just now! <sighs> oh, now I'm stuck? That's it! Now I'm stuck! I can't seem to get out of here, but it was nice to meet you. Goodbye, take care. Yep. Uh, well, you certainly aren't the same Pango the Magnificent from the legend. He was the bravest of the brave. And you're nothing but a scaredy cat. I'm not a scaredy cat. 
It's just that I recently lost a scale, you see? If I had this little scale, then I could be a hero again. Well, even if I didn't have a skill, but I at least had something very strong, something that could finally seal the hole in my armor. Something very strong. Something very strong. I think I saw something that might work. I'll be back! <laughs> Tonda, can I have your shell, please? You want my new shell? Uh, uh, what for? I need it to save our friends. Oh, well, if it's for our friends, then okay. Take it. Ugh, but it's really dirty. It's covered in mud. <laughs> it's the scale from the armor. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tonda. Is this yours? That's mine. <laughs> or maybe it's not. There. It's like a glove. Now you're back in service. Quick, we have to hurry. Where to? Uh, I mean, what for? To save my friends. So you can be a hero. Oh, here we go. Onwards, Pango the Magnificent. Heroic deeds await you. Take that. Leo, we can't hold out much longer. But we have to save the ship. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll never get anywhere. I'm here! And I brought you guys some help. <laughs> Onwards, Pango! Uh, me? Ooh, but I can't fight. Please help my friends. It's just that I lost my scale again. If I had the lost scale, then I could be a hero once more. Uh. Stop! You don't have any armor on! Uh. 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 Wow, what a girl! Well, here goes nothing! Uh. Take that! Uh. Take that and that! Then you too! I'll get you all! Hooray! Hooray! They're starting to retreat! What? What's going on? Retreating already? I was just warming up! <laughs> yeah! Hooray! Yeah! Hooray! Yeah! Hooray! That's the first time I've fought without my scale. Remember, more important than armor is believing in yourself. So thank you, Pango the Magnificent. Thank you for believing in me and helping me to restore my bravery. Now I can once again be Pango the Magnificent. By the way, you fought wonderfully. I think I'm going to call you Yara the Fearless Feline. Well, my work here is done. I'll be seeing you guys. we can use. Tig, you've gone and tied up my tail. It's not my fault. Be more careful. Watch where you're putting your tail. The Earth Tooth. Oh, it's really hot out. Ugh. Oh. Soon you're gonna end up with a sun-dried tiger. Leo, can you pass the bucket of water over to me, please? Tig, looks like we're completely out of water. Out of water? Like, completely, completely out of water? Oh, I'm just so thirsty. I'm really thirsty, too. <gasps> hmm. Now we've got to come up with something. <gasps> Hey, you guys! Look over there! It's a river! <gasps> water! Water! Yay! 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 Water! Well done, Lily! It's time to land! Oh, oh! Careful! Vines! Tig, more to the left! I can't move it! The 
door seems to be stuck! Take a break. And I, I really need something to drink. Yes, Tig. You're right. We need to get water. Let's go. Ugh. Ow! Ugh. There's so much wood just lying about everywhere. Tig, that isn't wood at all. It looks like, uh, it's some kind of tooth. That's it, a tusk. And a massive one! You mean that this is just a big tooth? But if this is only the tooth, then how humongous must its owner be? Oh! I wouldn't want to come across such a gigantic and sharp-toothed monster like that. Without a doubt! It would love to snack on leopards. Well, and tigers too! <gasps> <gasps> Help me! Are we really never gonna find a way to get out of here now? Leo and Tig will think of something, Lily. Just wait. You will see. Huh? What is huh? that? Save yourselves! A tusked monster is headed this way! It's massive with huge teeth and it's been chasing us! Quickly! Everyone inside! Does this m monster have th three legs? Yeah, and he also has 100 gigantic teeth. Tig, don't exaggerate. It's just two tusks, not 100. Uh-huh, but have you forgotten about that huge tusk that we found by the riverbank earlier? I bet that belongs to him as well. Oh, oh, I'm so scared. And his nose was so long. It was like the longest, longest vine you've ever seen. It was amazing. He probably uses it to track down his prey before he goes and grabs it. Oh, oh, quiet. Do you hear that? His tooth. I bet he's probably thinking that we dragged it away. Tig, we need to get him out of here, back towards the river. No way. I'm not doing that. Fine then. I'll do it myself. Hey! Tusked monster! I'm here! Catch me if you think you can! I'll show you where your tooth is! <laughs> Leo! Where are you going? Leo, come back here! Here we go again. What are you gonna do this time, Leo? Leo, wait up! I'm coming with you! Please stop! I need you to help me! There! Leo! Look out! Leo, he's gonna crush you with his giant foot! Run away! Leo! But what are you? Uh. Hey, you! Big monster, don't you dare try and squash my best friend, or you're gonna have to answer to me! Mm. Ah! Ah! Mommy! Wait, Tig, I think he might need some help. Just look. 
You see? He has a splinter in his foot. Come on, let's help him out. Well, Lily, do you see them? Not yet. I can't see a thing. Oh, no. But where could they have gone to? Maybe the humongous monster has taken them. Ah! Monster! Ah! Right, left, one, two, three. And left, stop, one, two. We have arrived. Don't worry, guys, it's just us. Come on, check out our new friend. Leo, Tig. Allow me to give you assistance. There you go. Now everything is fixed. Yay! Hmm. So that's why he has the really long nose. I guess it isn't for hunting prey after all. It's so he can pick off branches for lunch. Uh-huh. That's it. <laughs> hey! Guys, I remembered something. My mom told me about an animal with a nose just like that. It is called a mammoth. Oh, great and mighty mammoth. Thank you so much for your help. Mammoth? <laughs> no, no, what are you saying? Mammoths are my distant relatives, but I've never seen them myself. Long ago, when fierce glaciers approached from the north, lived great beasts with long teeth, tusks. They were called mammoths. Mammoths weren't afraid of anyone. They were very strong. But they were also very kind. If anybody was in trouble, the mammoths would come to their rescue. But then one day, the mammoths mysteriously disappeared. Nobody knows exactly where they went. But to this day, their huge teeth can be found laying on riverbanks. And when people find them, they are known as Earth Teeth. So that means that the giant tooth that we found on the riverbank earlier was actually a mammoth's Earth Tooth? Ha-ha! <laughs> that is correct. It is a mammoth tusk, kids. <clears throat> the tusk of a mammoth. And I'm not a mammoth. I am an elephant. <laughs> And you said he was a big, scary monster. As Mappa Pantiga once said, you must not judge people based on their first appearance. Those who seem to be scary at the very first glance might actually turn out to be some of your best friends in the end. See you later. Bye, Mr. Elephant. Thank you for all of your help. Goodbye and safe travels, my friends. I'm always happy to help. Ah. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Aha! I can finally see Spidey and Stripey's ship straight ahead of us. <laughs> we finally caught up to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> we caught up! We caught up! After them! Fly faster! Hoot, 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 hoot. What is this? All the leaves have turned brown. It sort of looks like a drought. Do you think we should land? Whoever lives here probably needs some hey, help. Hey, you guys! Take a look at this! Down there! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Oh no! I can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> Hold on, guys! I'm coming! 
The Stone Flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. Okay, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd. Uh... <laughs> How's it going? Uh, how's it going? I hereby accuse you. Hmm. Okay. I hereby accuse you of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Two more. Take them into custody. But there are so many. In Kubor, Cooper's just one. Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh well, uh, uh... I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought when not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved. But one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was, until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh, hold on a sec. I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Taraval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But uh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Oh, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Oh, toot. Oh, toot. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes, and when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We are going to steal it. I said shh. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor uh, was ordered to guard, uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Terrible will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes, Kubor really wants that. It looks... it looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My uncle Pernululu the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little nifty trick. 
to handle even the very biggest wave. in the winter. Kubor is smart. Kubor will find the water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> Be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. It's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. I need your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Boy, what's up? <laughs> no! Your flower! Bring now it's ours! <laughs> <laughs> you Give that back to us right now! Oh no, now our grove will most definitely dry out. Yay! We did it! Yay! Good job! <laughs> Such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. <laughs> Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. Oh, Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. What are you looking at? Well, hmm. I have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. Here we go, everyone. Full steam ahead. <laughs> The tree pear. The wind is getting stronger. We need to find bigger rocks so the ship doesn't blow away. Uh-huh. Check it out. There's a good rock for the ballast. Uh. Hey, let me help you out with that. Uh. 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 Hey, Martin, why don't you try
try to find a spring. <laughs> or otherwise, <sighs> our water will run out. <laughs> all right, all right. Go heave house. Yeah. Hey, hey, Philly! Uh -oh. Wake up already! Uh -oh. Hey, Philly! Let him sleep, Milky. We can't fly in this weather. Anyway, when he's sleeping, he's not eating. Let's go. Let's go see. Let's see if we can find some food. <gasps> Look there! What's that strange animal? <laughs> animal? That's a hare. But a lot plumper and with a long tail. And he's hopping through the trees with a pouch on his tummy. And there seems to be a hare in his pouch as well. Oh, I remember. That's called a tree kangaroo. A wallaby. My dad told me all about that animal. And there's even a legend about it. Once upon a time, there were wild animals with quite long tails. They were called kangaroos. They jumped around the earth, and they carried their babies in pouches. There was a baby kangaroo, and it was called a joey. And the joey couldn't jump very far. But one day he learned that at the top of the very highest cliff, there is a magical wallaby stone which grants a wish only once every hundred years. So the Joey decided to climb all the way up the cliff. It was a long and difficult journey for a little kangaroo, but he managed to climb up the wallaby stone. He made a wish, and afterwards he began to jump very high and very far, not only on the ground, but also in the trees. They began to call him Little Kangaroo, a tree kangaroo, or a wallaby. I wish we'd find a magical stone. That's just what we need now. Then we could wish for help, and we could get Lily back home even faster. <gasps> Did you hear that, Milky? That cliff over there has a magical stone that grants wishes. Uh-huh. But where do we find it, Spike? <laughs> um, hey, that's it! Look over there! Look, look, look. <laughs> Hi there! You're a good jumper! Look what I can do! <laughs> oh, wow! That was cool! I am Marnik, but who are you? They call me Wallaroo! I'm a tree kangaroo, a wallaby! The best jumper in Australia. Uh, well, soon I'll be the best jumper. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Woohoo! Jump over here! Oh! Back into Mama's pouch. Back in the pouch. Uh, uh, back in the pouch. But I can jump all by myself. I'm big now. <sighs> You're so lucky. You get to ride in a pouch. I'd like to try riding in a pouch. Even if it were just once. Ha! Huh, I've got an idea. You can quietly jump in the pouch instead of me. Then I can practice on my own. All right? <laughs> Spike! Oh, we're never going to make it up there. All we need to do is find ourselves some ninny who's going to show us the way to get up there. Then the magic wallaby stone is going to get us out of here. <laughs> 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 Hooray! Look at me! Freedom! Finally! The most impressive jumper in all of Australia! Hooray! Hey! Spike, <laughs> maybe he can help us? Hey, that's true. He is a good jumper. Uh, uh, hey, yo! What's your name, huh? I'm Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo. Listen, and you? jumping on trees is for wimps. But if you climb that big rock over there, now that's where it's at, my little friend. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> but I bet you're too little. There's no way you could do that, could you? Me? You think I'm too little? Listen, you, I can easily jump up there and show everyone I'm not a baby, especially my mama. Oh, what are you waiting for, then? <laughs> Come on, kangaroo. 
<laughs> Let's go, huh, Wormaroo, or whatever your name is. Come on and show everyone what you can do, man. <laughs> yeah, show us. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, kid, what do you see? Is there a wallaby stone up there or something else? You see it? Will you please toss the rock down to us? Hey, buddy! Where did it go? A wallaby stone? It's the highest stone up here. This is the wallaby stone. I'm standing on oh, it. Oh, you don't say. Uh, that rock up there is the wallaby stone? Oh, come on. Let's go, Milky. We gotta wait for it to warm up and then convince Phyllin to take us all the way up there. Hey, what about me? Wait for me. Just come down the same way you got up there. It's easy. Jump, hop, jump, hop. But we're out of time. We got stuff to do. Hey. Bye-bye. Yeah. And while you're up there, don't go asking any riddles. Hold on, but wait for me. Why are you leaving me all alone? Uh, Mama! Joey, wouldn't you like to take a bath? No, 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 oh. no. You're such a little piggy, aren't you? <gasps> but you're not my little precious Wallaroo. No, I'm Mardik. I'm sorry, ma'am. But where is Wallaroo? He didn't want to ride me in the pouch anymore. He's grown up now and wants to jump on his own. So he's out practicing as we speak. Mama! <gasps> Wallaroo! My Joey! How did he get on the cliff? We must hurry! <gasps> it's coming from over there! Somebody needs our help! Tig, reset the ballast! Let's untie the ship! Hurry! We need to get up there before the storm starts! for helping my little Wallaroo. Mama, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I won't trick you ever again, I promise. Mama was so worried, my son. But if you are able to climb that cliff, then that means that you really are big now. So we can start to practice jumping on the great big eucalyptus tree. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best mama in the whole world. Goodbye, kids! Goodbye! Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you! Thank you! Bye. 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 Bye! Bye! Thank you so much, everyone! Come back soon! We'll <laughs> jump on the highest eucalyptus tree together! <laughs> I want to make a wish! I want treasure! I want all the no, treasure! I want a ship! I want no, I want treasure! <laughs> no, wait! Quiet, everyone! I wish for the great treasure from the monkey tribe! Ready? Hold, hold. Ah, okay, I get it, fine. I bet that this is all because of that bouncing tree kangaroo baby. That little baby must have already made a wish. He went and wasted our wish. Ugh. Now we're gonna have to wait another hundred years. We failed. Ah, let's get out of here. Hold, hold, mice, 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 
scary. <laughs> the funny cassowary. My turn. <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> it's my turn. I won, I won. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Lily, be careful. You should sit down. You're going to fall off. I can't sit down. Not until I finish my stretches. Okay, I get it. I enjoy stretching too. And one. And whoa! Who fell down from the sky? How interesting! Who are you? Stay away from me! How did I get here? <laughs> if I stay away from you, then how will I do this? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cass, and this is Kalunda. He's a master of the pipe and drums. <laughs> I'm Lily. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, do you live here? Huh? This forest is our magnificent home! Home sweet home! <laughs> Can you please tell me where the highest spot is around here? I really need to find it. <laughs> oh, it's not far from here. We'll take you there! <laughs> uh, you know, Kalunda and I were just getting ready to have some lunch. <laughs> is it okay if we eat something first? Huh? That sounds good. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> uh, so what do you eat here? I don't see anything that looks good to snack on. Follow us, my little friend. We know how to find the best food. Kalunda! <coughs> there is nothing better than going along, strolling the forest while singing a song. <coughs> if you sing a duo with a good friend all around, we'll hear that great sound. <coughs> Feel free to go chance. Sing and do it round. Meanwhile, you dance. Come on, don't miss out. You can join in our fun. Oh, hey, look, it's Cash and Kalunda. Hey, Kalunda. Look! Look at that! But who's that with him? Hey! <laughs> oh, but such rhythm! What a dancer! Come see our troop, Lily! Oh, may I? As if you have to ask! Come along, <laughs> there's some food! <laughs> Help yourself. You deserve it. Go ah. right ahead. Well, well. Once again, that clown is embarrassing our proud family and singing his stupid songs for an audience. So unacceptable. Ah. And all those ridiculous dances of his. Utterly disgusting. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. And he has the nerve to go and laugh at us. Ah. Actually, only at you and your butterfly. Get on and get out of our forest. But that, that isn't fair. You can't kick out Cass. He's just like you two. <laughs> We're birds of honor. If Cass wants to stay, then let him show that he's a dignified cassowary. But how can he do that? <laughs> By beating one of them in a traditional cassowary competition. <laughs> and if you win, you can stay. Otherwise, you have to leave and stop embarrassing all of us. And what happens if you lose? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lily, they both practice every single day. Well, if you lose, you have to dance with Cass. You want us proud?
allowed cassowaries to jump around like silly birdies? <laughs> Not going to happen. That joker doesn't stand a chance. Well, even so, I'm still going to try. It'll be good to see if these cassowaries can dance to my friend Kalunda's pipe and drum music. Uh, uh. Hmm. I declare that the match will take place at the sacred ficus tree. Right? Lily! Lily! Lily, hello! Hello! Lily, answer me! Ugh. Maybe we should land? But where? There's no spot to land around here. It's full of trees. <sighs> Yara, let's fly a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are gathered here today to settle the issue of whether Cass is worthy of being called a cassowary. <laughs> <laughs> Now, legend has it that many, many years ago, there was no peace to be found in our forest. There were many arguments and many fights. Some fought over the watering hole. Others were to sleep. And others were because they could not share their food. And the fighting just wouldn't seem to end. The wisest inhabitant of the forest, a cassowary as legend has it, asked the forest to become a fair judge for all the animals in the area. And the forest responded to the cassowary's request. In the blink of an eye, a sacred ficus sprung up from the earth. It was a wise old tree that could always tell a truth from a lie. With its strong branches, it could determine without fail who was right and who was guilty. And then peace proceeded to reign over the forest. Enough legends! That's nothing but an old wives' tale. Come on, let's get down to business and kick this buffoon out of the forest already. Well, in that case, then may the great and always fair match of the cassowaries begin. I'm going to throw you out of our forest once and for all. Hey, now, this is my forest too. You can do it! It's almost like dancing! Come on, dance away! Huh? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, no! <laughs> what? see who the real cassowary is around here. <laughs> ah, according to our rules, Cass must leave the forest at once. But that's not fair. I was tripped up. It sounds to me like someone is a sore loser. Did anyone see you get tripped up? Hmm. You see, no one saw anything at all. You're nothing but a clown. And a liar, too! I saw him trip. And if you don't believe me, then let's ask the sacred ficus. It'll mm. tell us who's lying. <laughs> the ficus? That's nothing but a legend. You dumb little animal. Come on! Did you? Really trip him up. I, I, uh... I'll have you know that singing and dancing is better than lying in order to win. I, 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 I didn't want to. I, I was, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> Cass, you are welcome to stay with us. I think that maybe you're forgetting about one more rule, aren't you? Where's Lily? Lily! Ugh. Lily, hello? 
This is all my fault. <gasps> hey, guys! Look over there! There she is! Lily! Hooray! Lily! <laughs> all right! <laughs> Hey, I have to admit, you're really good at this. I think I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> We're going to get some fruit. We'll be back soon. We know what soon means to you guys. The Royal Aroma. You're so cute. Who are you? <sighs> Don't be scared. My name is Yara, and this is Lily and Mila. <laughs> My name is Pasa. Do you need some help? Okay. <laughs> My home isn't far away. <sighs> this smells so good. What exactly is it? That's some pollen. For fragrances. For fragrances? How interesting. Yeah. I make delicious aromas called Pasaroma out of pollen and nectar. I use a very old recipe book. Ah, that is so amazing. It reminds me of the smell of 1,000 incredibly pretty flowers. Oh, what a wonderful smell indeed. Yes, but it can't compare with the magnificent King's aroma. The only one who knew how to make it was my brother Soma. But my brother was a real master of anything and everything to do with fine herbs. He knew every single recipe. But then one day, without warning, the great flood carried him off to sea. <gasps> and since then, I haven't ever seen him again. Oh, Pasa, I'm so sorry. Come on, step up, come on! Don't miss out! Come get your different fragrances! All are most wonderful! They're bright, they're delicious, they're flowery! Wow. <laughs> By the way, friends, my name is Opa! Don't forget that name now! Very, very soon I'll be the best aroma master in all of Australia! Ew! This one smells... <clears throat> Not quite right. What do you mean? Which one doesn't smell right? But this smells really great. Aroma Opa is black cardamom, guava steam, David Sonia, manuka, and of course, macadamia. Um, I don't know. Somehow, pasas just seem kind of <sighs> so much better. Uh huh. Pasas are better. Pasas are more delicious. Fooey, you don't know anything. What's wrong with him? <sighs> Don't pay attention to him. Oppa just can't seem to get any of his fragrances to smell just right. But you know what? You all helped me, so I have a surprise for you. I want to welcome you to my <laughs> special spa. <gasps> what about the others? They're waiting for us. Mila, we'll be really quick, okay? <sighs> oh, come on, girls, a real bath, a nice warm bath. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> trouble! Trouble! Come quickly! The flowers are sick! Fungus! It's a fungus! Cure it? That's a great idea! We can cure the flowers from the fungus. I heard it said once a long time ago, a long time ago, that there were these huge flowers called monkey cups. And all those monkey cups gave off a magical pollen which was able to miraculously cure flowers from the sooty fungus. But then, the great flood occurred and we suddenly became an island. Legend says that the magical monkey cups still grow there, but no one can manage to reach that island by swimming. Well, if we're not able to swim there, then perhaps we could... We could fly there? Fly there? That's a great idea! Of course we can fly over there! Maybe our flying ship can... Uh, uh, maybe, um... 
Maybe you can take Pasa to get the healing pollen? And I'll stay here and try to save the flowers that are left. <laughs> no problem. I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh, wait, I forgot to take my baskets back inside. I'll do it. Don't you worry. <laughs> Well, where did you disappear to? And why do you smell so good? That's wonderful. Hey, boys! This is Pasa. <gasps> she makes these wonderful fragrances and incredible aromas. And she's in need of our help. So cool! Over there! That's them! Look! It's the magical monkey cups! <laughs> ah! Ah! Help me! <gasps> Pasa! Don't move! <laughs> Don't go anywhere near these plants! They're dangerous! <sighs> Let me give you a hand. <sighs> Sister, you've gotten so big. I can't believe my eyes. We all thought you were lost. <clears throat> well, thankfully, I didn't drown in the great flood. The water carried me to this island, but I couldn't find my way back home. Ah, I've been stuck here the whole time. What a nightmare! That monkey cup almost swallowed me up whole. Well, actually, monkey cups are a predatory plant. But Opa told us that they might save the flowers and that their cups might have magical pollen. But monkey cups don't even have pollen. And they definitely don't help cure anything. I think maybe Opa was mistaken. All right, let's get everything and head on back home. Hmm, that's weird. This is not a sooty fungus. This is... Wait, it's... This is nothing but paint! It's paint? But why would someone paint the flowers? Did Opa maybe want to get us off the island for some reason or another? <laughs> Opa is the greatest. Opa has thought of everything. Opa did it. Now everyone will only be able to get their fragrances from me. Opa, are you actually trying to steal the recipe book? S Soma, Pasa, uh... What? Were you hoping to never see us again? <laughs> Opa, stop! 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 Hoot! A mouse! Food! A mouse! Hoot! 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 Someone help! Someone help me! Oh, no! Opa! We have to save him! Well, little sis, are you ready? Like when we were kids! <laughs> But I can't see anything. I can't see. I can see. I can see again. Why'd you do that? Why did you save me? If it weren't for your sneaky plan, Pasa wouldn't have ever found me on that island. It's kind of strange, but I owe my being saved to you as well. I'm sorry. I've just never been able to get the fine herbs just right like you always seem to. I was really jealous of you, and I decided to steal the book of recipes to learn the secret. There's actually no secret that can be learned. You see, once upon a time, long, long ago, all the animals came to the Cuscuses for the wonderful and fine aromas. However, one day, the Cuscuses argued over whose aromas were the best of them all and their souls filled with envy, spoiling even the most perfect aromas. No one came back to the Cuscuses. 
The recipes were all but forgotten, so King Cuscus, the wisest of the Cuscuses, ordered that all the recipes be collected and put into one recipe book. And I hid the most important recipe on the very last page. You can mix any aromas you like, you see, but there is one trick that makes all the difference. Do it with love. Pasa, hey, so, you know, I was wondering, can we take a bath? <laughs> But of course! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. Try this, please. That's the stuff. Now, now that, that is, is a real, real royal, royal aroma. aroma. <laughs> <laughs> Kuba! <laughs> Secret to any task is love and friendship and never envy. with a Tasmanian. You, sir, have infringed on my territory! I have never heard anything more offensive in my entire life. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. So, dear... I think that there is only one way that we can settle this. Yes, with, with a, a duel! duel. but a little bit different. <sighs> Come over here. I found a new aroma. Ah, well, well. Yes, that's a fragrant ficus. All right, be quick. Pack it up. Don't be stingy. Yeah! <laughs> Someone save me, please. Ah! Someone help! <laughs> Oot. Oot. My suit. Silly bird. Who's there? Let me out of here right now. Forget it. Like I've got nothing better to do. I prey on weak, young, and old too. I love to waste time in dark dealings, creeping through the shadows. You've been warned. Better run away or I'll leave you squealing. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. I love scaring kids right out their seats and watch how they all cry for their mommies. You can search the world and seven seas. More wicked than me, you'll find nobody. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. You're absolutely strong. <laughs> To. He must have flown up to eat something. Helen! Hello! If we let Spots and Stripes get away, then there's no way that we'll ever get our hands on that treasure. Did I just hear someone mention the word treasure? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I, I suppose I did, but uh, just so you know, it's not really any of your business. Everything that happens in Tasman's forest 
is Tasman's business. What? What do you mean, your forest? Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good joke. If you're out here looking for treasure, then I just need you to do one thing. Bring me a piece of it. I know everything that goes on around here. You got some nerve, buddy. I'll have you know that treasure is all ours. Aha. But is the treasure still even there? Well, it might be, but it isn't for you. <sighs> if you don't want to do things the right way, we'll do it my way. So come on and tell me all about this treasure and where to look for it. Hey, Melky. Okay, I think, I think we lost him. Uh-huh, I think we lost him. Ooh. Utterly outrageous. Yes, there's no greater crime than breaking up a duel. You silly fools should have known better. We shall continue this duel. But first, let us deal with these insolent creatures, my dear sir. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe we can all sit down and discuss this, huh? Or, or something like that. Yes, we shall teach them. A worthy lesson, indeed. Get ready. Mike, please do something. Uh, I have an idea. How about I give you Milky? <laughs> He's quiet. He's very nice. What? <laughs> He's a sweet kid. You'll love him. Yes, very nice. <laughs> uh. Hey, <gasps> don't stand around. Let's go. Never in my life have I been dropped to the ground twice in the very same day! If you ask me, we shouldn't tell anyone about this most humiliating episode. What do you say? <laughs> huh? You see that? Do you see how great I am? Without me, you'd have been done for! Now you two really must bring me a share of that treasure! Uh, Spike, uh, let's just do it! Uh, our buddy Tasman here is strong and agile, huh? Uh, he can protect us. Uh-huh. And then what's next? You're gonna want us to bring him our treasure? Don't be afraid, brothers. We'll divide it up evenly. Well, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, if you think that would be fair, I mean... Mike, what do you mean? Well, I happen to know where you can find that crazy bird. Your friend. It's a deal! Great! Now tell me all about this treasure. Well, I'll just show you. Uh-huh, we'll show you. <laughs> Leo, I really don't get it. Tell me, why do we need so much food? Well, if we're going to be leaving Australia, Tig, we don't know how long we'll have to be flying across the ocean. Okay, Leo, you're right. We need to hurry. The monkey's treasure might very well be in danger. Kuba? Hey, Kuba! Get out you of see? Do you get it now? Uh-huh. So we follow them and then nab the treasure. We'll snatch it right out from under their noses. <laughs> but where is your flying ship? Well, you see, you said you knew where to find Philin. One, two, and pull! Oh, be careful. Take it easy with my feathers. Hoot, hoot. Pull harder, pull harder! Do a better job this time! Come on, help us! Don't just stand there! Yeah. Oh, Come help us! us. <laughs> I am helping you. Helping you keep a rhythm. One, 
two, and pull! Hey, why'd you stop? Go on, get back to work! Lily, I've been thinking. Since you're the captain, how about making me your first mate? <laughs> Lily, you should pick me instead. <laughs> you, Tig? But you're afraid of heights. Well, maybe I am. But I'll be careful. And anyway, Leo, don't forget, you're the one who's always falling over and things like that. Well, I'm more fun. If anyone here should be the first mate, it should be me. Yeah, I agree. However, I'm the first first mate. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, whenever I'm homesick, I just take a look at our boys. They'll never, ever change. <laughs> I wonder where Spike and his brother are right now. Yeah. <sighs> Hoot. Hoot. Follow that ship, you bird. Hoot? Stop, stop, stop! Who do you think you're ordering around? Oh, yeah, I forgot. From now on, I'll be the one in charge. And whoever doesn't like it can go ahead and jump off. Farewell, Australia! Woo! <laughs> Maybe we should just turn back. I'm afraid that we won't make it. Land! Land! I can't seem to turn it! I've got an idea! Tig, move away the uh, wing! But just move it out of the way! Uh-huh! I'm moving it away! All right, everyone, starboard! Uh, yeah. uh, uh, hooray! We did it, guys! Yay! Yay! We did it! What's that? Ice ball. I think we're really lost now. Uh, can you imagine spending the whole winter here? Uh. <gasps> Who are you? And what are you doing here? We are friends of Lily the monkey. We're helping her find her way back home. And we are the Voguing Penguins. Penguins. From the, the house, house of, of Wind Bingo. Bingo. And I am Stella, the house mother. And this is Hernando and Creon. Are they your children? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we just, just really, really like, like to vogue. vogue. It's, it's such, such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. We're going to the ice ball. It's going to be held in Queen Maud Land. I can see that you've run into a slight <coughs> issue. Oh, oh la la. No way. This isn't just a little issue. No way. This is a big problem. Not at all. House of Gwynpingo is famous not only for its style, but for its hospitality as well. Uh, uh, but what about the ball? Stella, we can't be late. Hernando! I'm surprised at you. Leaving our guests to suffer on our island? Oh my, that just isn't right. Wait for us here. I think that I might know what to do. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> Finally, land. <laughs> it's just so, 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 so much colder than, than the ocean. Stop whining. We'll warm up soon enough. <laughs> oh well. Ah, very interesting. Follow me. <laughs> we really need to think about how to get our ship out of here. <laughs> or at least find out how to warm up. You see that? Something shining. Let's get a closer look. Take a look at that. What if we break off a couple of them to use? They could be like levers for the ship. 
When you work, you'll warm up right away. One, two, and push! You hear that? The snow is cracking! Hey! Get our ship out soon! Hey! I don't think that's the snow cracking! Well, what exactly is your brilliant idea? Look! The lava from the volcano is still warm. We need to take some of the warm rocks and lay them all around that wooden bird. <gasps> Ooh, la, la. That's great. The snow and ice will melt and it can fly away from here. Uh, just one problem, Stella. Uh, how do we get the rocks back down there? <gasps> Ooh, look, villain. Aren't we lucky we just happened upon these hot rocks? <laughs> What do you mean? Tell me, who exactly are you? I'm a friend of your guests. Uh, we were flying behind them, but then we landed. <sighs> uh, we saw that they were in trouble and that they needed help. They said that you guys also want to help them out. Well then, let's help them together. <laughs> what a great idea! <laughs> together! It's more fun! <laughs> Yeah! Faster, faster, faster! You two are penguins, not snails! Just look at him! That Tasman is a real commander! Uh huh. A commander who's willing to burn our nest to a total crisp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're such trusting penguins! These hot stones are actually for us, not them! So we don't bring your guests! Silly spots and silly stripes! Figure it out! They can fend for themselves! <laughs> Let them sit in the snow! <laughs> <sighs> Great! No one deceives the house of Gwyn Pingo and gets away with it. I know exactly how to beat them. Hernando, Creon, follow me. Let's give them the totem pole. Is anyone still doubting my magnificent leadership skills? Huh? Oh. Oh. That's them! Aha! Oh. 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 Uh -huh. You liars! You won't get away from the house of Gwyn Pingo! Hernando, Creon, Totem Pole! These losers are all friends now? Why am I not surprised? Why am I not at all surprised? Us? We're not losers! We'll show you! Everyone together! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Desmond, I think you might have ended up stealing too many rocks here. Uh, hold on tight! Hold the mess! Oh, hold the mess! Ah. Whoa. Ah. Well, I didn't know holding the nest was so hard for you. Hey, how about you just jump off? Then you can show those losers your leadership skills. Well, I'm sure warm now. <laughs> Thanks for your help, friends. <sighs> that was amazing. Yeah, and yeah, it stylish. was. <laughs> <laughs> we have to think up a new dance to honor our victory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Alex, do you want us to fly you to the ball on our ship here? Oh, that would be just lovely. I never arrived at a ball in a flying ship. 
Perhaps you would like to learn how to dance the Vogue. It's, it's such, such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. dance. Hernando, hurry on. Wonderful idea. My friends, would you like to join the House of Gwyn Pingo? Of course you would. <laughs> then let's go, my friends. We'll show you the moves on the way there. The ice ball is over there in Queen Maudland. And now, turn your attention to the voguing house of Gwyn Pingo! Oh, I think the house of Gwyn Pingo beats everyone! No one has ever made such a grand entrance before! Such elegance has never been seen! We are so very different, also so very different, with our spots and awesome beaks, paws and flippers, even feet. We Chica. 